got worm castings up in here. We got everything up in here. But um, we, um, when we finally did come back from Africa, we're at 10, 11 a.m. So I asked my that sister. That video's coming. I wonder should I take you guys off the guard with me? Nope, because I want to drop my iPhone. I'm going to saute these in some bacon grease. So let me show you what I got. Okay guys, so this is going to be harvest attempt number two. Uh, we now unboxed the Instant Pot Dutch oven, so take a look at it. Okay, so I got a package today from, uh oh. I got a one. I got a runaway package. So can I get it? Okay. So I got a package today from Burpee, and I'm thinking that it is my strawberry bare roots. Yeah, we're gonna have strawberries all over the place. Because I still have other strawberries in the house that um, I haven't even gone through. Um, put outside. So let's see what this is. Okay, yep, it's definitely my strawberries. Kept them and protected them very well. You know, as much money and as much um, shipping that um, Burpee charged, they ought to be throwing a pack of free seeds or something up in here like Baker Creek, but I guess that's too much like right. But anyway, so these right here, and I'm putting them in the ground in the morning. This is the, let me see which one of these. Okay, so these are the honey oak. These are the honey oak strawberries, and it's supposed to be 25 bare roots. I'll know in the morning when I go to plant them. Now, hold up. This is not even looking right. And now this is the Albion bare root strawberries, and it's supposed to be 25 also. But you look how big, how much stuff is in this bag and how much is in this bag. So... I will definitely be counting them out when I go to put them in the ground in the morning. And I will definitely have my camera rolling. Because if they're short, even one, I'm calling. So, you'll see me in the morning doing my strawberries. And I put here to keep it as steel. as steel. Yeah, Ooh, I should have sat here and showed my plants. Wow. Okay, I didn't even know I was recording. See, this is some crazy stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> it's raining outside. Can't take no camera, no phone, no iPad, no any of that outside. So I'm going to count my strawberries in the house on video and then go outside and plant them. To make sure that I have 50. Okay, so <clears throat> I finally got this knot out of these strawberries. Let's see, which one are these? Okay, so this is the honey -o strawberries from Burpee. And as you can see on there, right there, it's supposed to be 25 strawberries, so we're going to Count these strawberry bare roots to make sure that it is 25 of them. And then I'm going to take them outside. You know what? I got on the wrong. I got on the wrong thing today. Hold on. Let me take this off. I do not want my jacket. 
getting that dirt on there because I mean even though I got some nice washers that dirt might not come out and then jacket is down for her. I've had that little sweater jacket for a long time okay so let's pull them apart so that's one. Oh yeah remember since we're in here you can see it better from my thumb down is what you want oh wait a minute this root is in the way right here right here down is what you want in the ground right here and up is what you want on top of the soil so that's one That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So they're all there. That's a good thing. Where did y'all's bag go? Where in the world is the, did the bag? Oh, it's on the bag. Okay, so that's a good thing. All 25 are in there. And they're about to get in the ground. I think what I might do is I might just put them in a pot first because the bed for them isn't ready quite yet. Put them in the pot since they're coming alive, get them started. Then scoop them up in big clumps and move them. Okay, so these next ones, I'm going to put this in here for you because you're the honey elf. These next, the next ones are the Albion, and they're looking a little skimpy. Do you think they taught this not tight enough around these dang strawberries? Okay. And I'm really happy the way these um, honey o's look. They look really nice. See what's going on with the Albion. The Albion is much, much smaller bunch than the honey o. Okay, so here's the label right here. Albion, and it's supposed to be 25 strawberries in here. So let's see. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
23, 24, 25. So we have all 25 of the Albions. If I hadn't known those honey O's was going to look as good as they look, I would have gotten um, 50 of those because they look really nice. So now I know where to get my bare roots from when I don't want to plant strawberry seeds. Get them from Burpee, but Burpee, Burpee be knocking you in the head on that shipping, man. That's what I don't like is that shipping. And I mean, I spent over a hundred dollars, well over a hundred dollars with them. I can't remember the exact amount. You think they would have thrown in free shipping or some free seeds like Baker Creek? But I guess that's too much. Like, right? Time to get these strawberries in the ground. So since I'm down here counting strawberries, I might as well show you guys the beans they are going to be planting today. So we're going to do the Henderson Bush Lima Beans. We're going to be doing those. I think I may have two packs of those in here. I don't know. We're going to be doing the Landreth Stringless Beans. The red Chinese, well, noodle bean. Those, these grow like crazy. I have some green ones. They grow like crazy, too. When that heat kicks in, they grow. Okay, so I know I have these in a rosemary packet, but these are actually um, pink eye purple hole peas that um, we're going to be putting in the pea box. So there are the peas right there. I'm glad I got um, this trash bag and stuff down because it is a lot of dirt. And if that dirt had been on my dining room table, I'd be going crazy. So here's the other pack of the um, Chinese red noodle beans. We're going to be planting out today since it's raining, thank goodness. Um, we might not be planting anything. My foot and leg is vibrating the spasmin over here. So we might not be planting anything. So here is the... Um, Green eye peas, they do good and they taste good. The cow pea. Um, here is the other pack of the green eye peas we're going to be planting today. So, and again, this is in a bag that this is not what this is. This is actually the big boy purple hole peas and um, I got these from the agriculture store so big boy purple eye peas and they do get big so we're going to be planting those so we have separate beans we got a pea we got some pea beds out there we got some um, bean beds out here and so this that also we're going to be doing is some more lima beans these are the Hendersons as well, and these are from Seat Savers Exchange. So we're going to see how those do. Um, I'm happy about, well, it's really not raining out there. I'm going to say that's some mist, honey. Some mist going on out there. Because if it was raining, raining, I'd have my coolers out there. I would have my food grade buckets out there. And I would be catching all the rainwater I can get. And then after I catch all my rainwater, I go and put them in um, one gallon jug. And go put them in the dog. A cool dark. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is all these strawberries. That's 25. That's 25. So, 50 strawberry plants is what I'm going to try to attempt to go and get, in, get done today. Happy gardening, guys.